Welcome to the art project. We're going to do a gothic rose window color wheel. And so what I'm going to do in this part is I'm going to show you how to mix the colors to do this color wheel. First, I'm going to put down a color, say blue, and then I'm going to add little bits of white to it, more white to it, more white to it, and more white to it to make different tints of blue. Then I'm going to add black to it. Then I'm going to add a little bit more black to it. And then I'm going to add a little bit more black to it to make shades. You'll see as we go here. Just wanted to give you a little diagram to start with. So here's my palette with blue up in the left and white over on the right, black at the bottom. Then I'm going to mark my circles first with blue, then four across. I'm going to do yellow or red, then four more will be yellow. Blue and yellow make green. Green and yellow make blue green. Um, green and yellow make yellow green. And I'm just going to keep marking these until I have all the appropriate um, colors so I don't mess up later. I'm going to start with blue, uh, paint the biggest circle there blue. And then going towards the middle, I'm going to start mixing white with the blue to make tints of blue. I'm going to keep this up all the way to the center. So the biggest circle there in the middle, uh, that I, the first circle that I painted is blue, and then each section as it gets closer to the center is going to be a tint of blue. Now I'm going to start with the shades and to do that I mix some blue and black. The first one's going to be blue plus a little black. The second one's going to be blue plus more black. The third one is going to be blue plus a lot more black and I'm going to keep doing this all the way out to the edge. Notice how I've got one right here that uh, is darker than the rest. I was trying to make it a little bit lighter by adding more blue to the top of it, but that just didn't work. You're really going to have to basically white it out and then redo it if you make a mistake like that. Uh, then I did red, which is the second primary color. All right, I'm doing all the primary colors first. Then I do tints of red all the way to the middle of the circle, to the middle of the rose window. Then I mix blacks and do the uh, shades of red. Then I do the yellows. And now I'm going to mix together yellow and red and make orange, which is a secondary color. Now I'm going to do all three secondary colors. Red and yellow make orange. Red and blue make violet. Um, yeah, violet. And then I did the tints of violet and the shades of violet. And then last of the secondary colors, I did green. Blue and yellow make green. I did all the tints of green and then all the shades of green. I cannot stress to you enough how you should do this in this particular order. Uh, you don't want to start mixing um, greens and then skip to another color and do it and then the green dry out on you. So work uh, systematically. In other words, don't do the yellow, red, and blue middle, and then the orange, violet, and green uh, center circles, and, and then hope to go back and do the tints and shades later. Do the tints while you have that color mixed up. Do the shades while you have that color mixed up. Work as systematically as you possibly can. Then I started on the tertiaries. The green and yellow make yellow green. And then I did tints of the yellow green. One of the things that I would suggest doing that I did not do here in this video is I would make your pure color a little bit closer to the outside edge. Uh, my color wheel when, you, when it's done is going to look very dark because there's so many darks on the outside beyond the pure color. So I recommend doing your uh, pure color about four shapes from the outside instead of the six or seven shapes from the outside that I did. It's hard to get your color darker and darker um, without it getting totally black. Then I did the blue-green, the tints of the blue-green.
and then I did the shades of the blue green. Now, another thing I'll point out is I worked from the pure color in the middle of the pie to the lighter color in the middle of the rose window. And I did that because I feel as though the sun coming through the gothic rose window would be coming through more at one particular area. And since the either the middle of it's going to be tints of each color or the outside is going to be tints of each color, I decided it was best to have the tints on the inside for that one focal point that the sun is coming through, that the sunlight is coming through. So, uh, whereas if you do tints on the outside of the circle, on the outside, working your way towards the outside of the uh, gothic rose window, it's going to look like it's lit up around the edges and very dark in the middle. I don't think it necessarily matters. It's going to look really nice any, either way you go. I do recommend, though, you have less darks and more uh, less shades and more tints. So basically I'm working my way around now to all of the uh, tertiary colors and now I'm on the uh, red orange. Let me uh, throw one more thing out here at you while I'm finish this and finishing this up. I'm colorblind. Uh, I know everybody asks me all the time, how in the world can you be an art teacher and be colorblind? Well, right here is the answer to that question. It's not hard to memorize color the color wheel. I know what yellow, red, and blue is. I'm not that colorblind. And I know that uh, red and blue make violet and red and yellow make orange. And so I can memorize all that and still mix colors and do a halfway decent job, I think. So... Let it be known, you can overcome any obstacle that might be in your way. Persevere, try and paint inside the lines, work carefully, work smoothly, be sure and wash out your brushes, don't contaminate your colors. Uh, once I got all of the color wheel filled in, I went back over my uh, Sharpie lines that I did in the first part, the part one video. I went back over all of these to kind of clean up the edges of the paint. It really helped make it look a little bit cleaner. Do not rely on it. Try and paint inside the lines uh, because the marker does not cover up as well as I would like for it to. But all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. And that, my friends, is the rose window color wheel. The gothic rose window color wheel. Thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you learned anything from it. Um, good luck on yours.